If you have an image of an SDS page which includes a lane with bands of no molecular weight, you can determine the size of the proteins in the bands of your quote-unquote unknown samples using one of the following approaches. Using a commercial proprietary software such as ImageLab, using the gel image analysis software plugin for MATLAB, using ImageJ, a free software developed by the National Institutes of Health for the analysis of images. In this video, I will show you how to use ImageJ since it is a tool that is not only free but very easy to work with. You can download ImageJ from the following address. For this exercise, I will be using Excel together with ImageJ to do the calculations. I have created a template that makes the analysis more straightforward. You can use a similar one or another that fits your needs. First thing we need to do is to open your image. ImageJ can handle TIFF or JPEG type of files, among others. For this exercise, I'm using a JPEG file. Once you have your image open, you can zoom in and out pressing Ctrl in your keyboard and using the mouse wheel at the same time. Now, I am going to crop the image to include the lane with the bands of no molecular weight and the lanes with the unknown samples that I want to analyze. Select the area using the rectangle tool and then go to image and then crop. You may need to zoom out to see the whole crop image. In this case, the lane with the molecular width standards is on the right side of the image. I'm going to flip the image because I like to have the standard on the left side. For this, you can go to image, then transform, and then flip horizontally. We are ready to begin the analysis. Select the rectangle tool if it is not already selected and draw a slim rectangle over the bands of the first lane, making sure to include as much as possible of the top and bottom parts of the image. Now go to Analyze, then Gel, then Select First Lane. Now, using the arrows in your keyboard, move the rectangle to the right and position it on top of the bands in the first lane that you want to analyze. Now go to analyze, then gel, and then select next line. Repeat the previous step to select the next lane that you want to analyze. And repeat this step as many times as necessary in order to select all the lanes that you want to analyze. When you have selected all the lines that you are interested in, Go to Analyze, then Gel, then Plot Lanes. A new window will pop up with a profile of the pixel intensity for each one of your selected lanes. You can scroll up and down to see the profile for each lane by using the mouse wheel or the hand tool together with your left mouse button. For the next step, I would recommend you make the image as large as possible horizontally. Move the toolbar and select the multi-point tool. You will mark a point on the apex of each one of the peaks that is relevant to the analysis. This includes the peaks, repre this includes the peaks representing each one of the bands of non-molecular weight of the standard, the end of the profile for the standard lane, this represents the running front. Each one of the peaks corresponding to the bands for which you want to determine the molecular weight. In this case, I want to know the molecular weight for the two most prominent bands in each sample. You will want to be as precise as possible, but do not overkill yourself trying to select the absolute tip of the peak. An approximation is good enough. Once you have marked every point, go to Analyze and then select Measure. You will get a table like this that contains the intensity and the position of each one 
of the marks that you make. It is important that you do things in the right order, so you can remember what each one of the points that you made represents. In this case, I know that the first 10 points correspond to my molecular weight standards in increasing size. The 11 point represent the running front. 12 and 13 are the bands I want to analyze for the first sample. And finally, 14 and 15 are the bands of interest in the second sample. Now, go to edit, go to select all, then back to edit and copy. We will paste the data into our Excel template, but before doing that, Keep in mind that we only care about the X value for each data point, so keep an eye on which column you will use. Select the column corresponding to the X values and paste it in the column corresponding to the distance migrated by the bands. If you set up your template the right way, the molecular weight of your bands of interest will be automatically calculated. In the screen, you can see the critical parts of the template and the calculations involved. Once again, spending some time preparing the template with the formulas and calculations distributed in the right way will make the process a lot easier. Take your time to practice and if you have questions, feel free to ask. Thank you very much.